Bulls fans, Adam Harry back in with another Bulls unboxing. Today I have a very special uh, thing here. I've got the new Arcanaut frigate. This is for the Cardron Overlords, the new race for Age of Sigmar, the, the steampunk Sky Pirate Dwarfs uh, Duradin. I am super pumped about this one uh, just because it's a brand new, awesome looking kit. Big, <laughs> nice big model. Um, yeah, still got the plastic wrap on it. I've been holding off opening it ever since I uh, picked it up just so I could do it in front of the camera. So uh, that said, let's jump on in. Here we go. I'm, I'm pumped, I'm so excited about this. Again, this is a brand new race for Age of Sigmar. The Duradin uh, flying off into space, basically becoming the new Arcanauts here for the car drawn guys. So that's everything in the box. So it's a box within a box. Uh, we've got the instructions here, uh, which we will go through shortly. But I wanted to take a look at these sprues. Oh, snap. So we got one sprue, two sprues. Look at that. The new flight stand. Whoa. That is super weird. We'll go through all that here shortly. So two sprues. I'm going to move these to the side. Uh, we've got the flight stand and the base. So this is one of the, the large oval bases as well. And again, check out that new flight stand. That is crazy looking. Um, let's go ahead and zoom on in. Check that out. Weird. Weird but cool. It's kind of round. Um, and then I guess we're clipping these off on the bottom, sticking it to the base, ready to rock and roll. Um, I'm gonna pause real quick and we're gonna take an even closer look at those sprues though. There's a nice good shot at the sprues here. Wow. So we've got the uh, the hull of the ship. We've got the uh, the undersides here. This is the uh, the left and the right, or the uh, the port and the starboard, if you will, um, that you're going to be gluing on there. Very cool. Well, actually, sorry. This is the starboard side. This is the port side. You can tell because it's got the the header on the front here. Uh, those two pieces are going to glue together. This thing is hollow, <laughs> so hollow. You can totally put lights in here if you choose. Um, I'm not saying you should or you shouldn't, but it would look awesome if you did. Uh, we've got the deck here, which is pretty sweet looking. Oh, I love all the craziness of this. The the engines, or sorry, the the yeah, the rudders here with the the blades. I, I guess I think these go on the front actually, so it's kind of a propulsion system like that. We've got some cool vents. Wow, look at these. Look at this bit right here. That's just cool. <laughs> it's like a face. It's a vent face. Uh, yeah, just oozing with detail. There's another one right there, too. Wow. Uh, really cool stuff. Blown away. I love the rivets, too. There's a bit of a, not a, they, these are smooth panels, but the rivets have a texture to them so that uh, when you are painting, uh, you can totally use those to your advantage. Wow, it's just a cool kit overall. Look at that. <laughs> I'm so pumped to build this. I am totally building this one. This one, I don't know if I'm gonna paint it, but I'm definitely putting this one together because these or these these airships just look cool. So that's the first sprue. This is the second sprue now. And again, you can see here. I love how tightly packed everything is on the sprues too. Just really, uh, just a great use of space packing stuff away. Man, you got some piping. Those, more of those giant orbs that are probably full of some kind of dwarf aether gas to. Uh, Create lift, I guess. <laughs> I don't know how this stuff works. Uh, some kind of steam engine things here. Really cool looking stuff. It's all the little doodads. Look at that control panel on the dials. Holy moly. You gotta check that out. Matter of fact, I'm gonna zoom in. I'll do it this way. Check that thing out. Wild. That is wild looking. All the different pressure gauges and just whatever's going on there. But these sprues are pretty stinking awesome. There's one of the Duradin mates on the ship here pretty cool here's a shot of one of their weapons up close one of their helmets that they're gonna be wearing again they are supposed to be fully encased in their suits while they're uh, out and about uh with with the air i guess or lack of air maybe i'm not sure how the, all that'll work yet so but oh such a cool kit can't wait to put this one together this is one of the captains and or some one of the the Another one of the mates up here, his torso at least, I think that goes in on one of the bits, probably like the pilot or something. 
Let's flip it over real quick. Again, those orbs are gonna be empty, so if you want it to do some crazy lighting, uh, effects, hobby lighting, uh, this is a great kit for that. <laughs> it's just, there's a bunch of hidden gauges everywhere too. Here's some of the weapons. One of the weapons here. Um, big old harpoon. Oh man, I don't even know what to say guys. I'm super pumped about this. Wow, this is a cool looking kit. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's take a quick break. I'm gonna take a look at the uh, instructions here. All right, we're gonna flip through this pretty quick. Uh, it is full color. Uh, it's the same style where we've got the, um, the ship and the whole, uh, um, kind of like where the glue would go, uh, the, the two bits when they're connecting so you can kind of tell where those, those connection points are gonna be. Really easy, well done, you know, to follow. There are quite a few bits, uh, as you can kind of see here putting the ship together. Don't be intimidated though. It's it's really not that bad. Just follow the instructions and put glue where they show you. That's the that's a trick. Here are the rules, which I'm sure everybody has been super stoked to take a look at. So let's go ahead and zoom on in on those. All right, here we go, Arcanaut Frigate. So there's a stat you can see. It's got a, a three different missile weapon options, a melee weapon, uh, it is one of the big monstrous creature table things, vehicles, so uh, as it takes damage, as it takes more wounds, it's got 14 wounds total, so it's got some room there. As the more damage it takes, as the slower it moves, the fewer ether shot carbine attacks it has, and the belaying values actually drop. That's the melee attacks on it, so um, keep that in mind. Um, it's got a ton of other special rules, which we're not going to go over here, but uh, wow. And those will all be available on the website, too, if you want to take a look at them closer, but looks pretty bonkers um and of course how to paint it just like gw right <laughs> step one buy paints step two open paints step three question mark step four done model so there you have it um pretty cool stuff i'm super pumped about this faction in general that was the arcanaut frigate unboxing uh awesome looking kit really great detail can't wait to put it together i'm adam harry from bulls signing off have a good one